Hey gang, how's it going? So, for those of you who have been following me on Instagram or have been following me for a while, you know that every now and then I talk about Mercury Retrograde and I don't want to go into like what all Mercury Retrograde is. I figured if you're coming on and watching this video, you at least have some understanding as to what it is. If you don't know what it is, just look it up. I, sorry. And it's funny that I'm saying this because You'll find out in a minute. So in April I talked about Mercury Retrograde and I actually went into more of what it is over there and I went through like a whole ton of anxiety throughout Mercury Retrograde in April and was very much happy when it was all over. So Mercury Retrograde happened earlier this month and I understand that Mercury Retrograde affects people differently depending on their astrological sign and their birth chart and all that stuff. Stuff that I just don't care to like know more about. Not because I think it's wrong or it's bad or anything like that, I just don't care. Now I understand that there are some very realistic perspectives as to why I feel the way I feel right now and that it might not be Mercury retrograde. I'll let you guys make that decision because I understand that not everyone believes in Mercury retrograde and how that affects people and that's fine. I'm not going to tell you how you should believe. Now it could be because the new school year is starting. My kids are going back to school on Monday and like I still don't feel like I'm mentally prepped for that. It could also be too that I've been on this very low carb diet and I feel like my thoughts are running more smoothly. I still have a little bit of the brain fog. A lot of that cloud has lifted and I feel like I am not, my mind isn't like beating around the bush to get to what it needs to get to. A lot of what I'm doing this month has been the same way. I'm very much a, uh, what is, what is a not cuss word way to say a no BSer? How, how do you, what is, so I just, I cut to the chase. If it takes too much time and is unnecessary, I cut it out. I've been more direct and I'm very much to the point and, and I always worry about being to the point or making assumptions of things, of people, of situations because most of the time I'm wrong. But for whatever reason, I'll just make like a direct assumption of something and I'll just let it go. Like I'm just like, all right, you're mean. So I'm done. Yeah, I can just look at a situation and be like, do I want to? Do I not? Okay, then I don't want to. And I've been feeling too very much like letting things be as they are, if that makes sense. Like, I don't care anymore to explain who I am, how I am, what I do, and I no longer worry about having to understand someone. Instead, I'm just accepting them as they are. So if someone explains to me why anything, anything that they've chosen to do in their lives. I have noticed that to try to understand it is all fluff when I should just accept them as they are. While I absolutely love to understand people and understand what makes their brain tick, I still very much love the psychology in that because people fascinate me. Like I seriously wonder if I'm like part alien or something and like all humans are like my little like specimens to like study. I try so hard to just love people as they are and accept them as they are, especially if they're not hurting anyone. And I really want to reach that point where, you know, I remember back like when I was a child, there was, you know, there'd be people who would do weird things and I remember going, oh, that's weird, whatever. And then I would go on with my life. I, f I feel like I'm, at least in this moment, I'm doing the same thing where I'm just like, oh, that's not what I do, but that's okay. And then I keep going on with my life. And so I really like <laughs> this moment of Mercury Retrograde and I kind of hope it stays because it's a good place. I'm, I'm in a good place right now and I like that. And there are always still some improvements and there are still some things that I need to work on, but I like this moment and I want to just embrace this, this moment right now. And um, that is it. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know down below. How is Mercury Retrograde affecting you? I hope yours is going well because I understand how it feels when it isn't going well. I understand the anxiety. I understand being vulnerable. I understand just like wanting it to be over. I totally understand. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Catch you on the flip. Bye.